Hey guys, welcome to the Fight Age channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. It's so close. Thanks for support me, guys. Frank Warren, a promoter of the WBC, Habibi champion Tyson Fury, commented on the statement of his college, LG Hearn, who believes that the resume of his word is significantly inferior to the track record of Anthony Joshua. We have to give him his due. I mean, he is still a green promoter. He always goes around the second circle, always selling his goods. In this regard, he never gives up. Anyone who knows anything about boxing knows what separates these two boxers, and everyone knows what will happen if they ever meet. At the moment, this Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua fight is impossible. It's strange to me that everyone keeps talking about why Fury didn't fight Joshua in the last fight. He doesn't even have a coach. How will he enter the ring? We have outlined our position, and unless Tyson changes his mind, we will move in this direction," Warren said. Former World Heavyweight Champion Anthony Joshua said that if there were no titles at stake, he would prefer to fight Dylan White rather than Tyson Fury. As Joshua explained it, he considers the fight with White to be a London Derby, while Fury represents Manchester. If I could erase my memory, like in the movie Man in Black, where the characters use the thing, then it should be Dylan White. South London versus North London. Fury is good, but he is a guy from Manchester. I think Dylan White is cooler overall, but he failed a few times, AJ said. Recall that Anthony Joshua has already fought with Dylan White in 2015. Then AJ won by an account in the seventh round. Probably the boxers will have a rematch next year. At least their joint promoter Reggie Hearn has already started to promote this fight. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my channel. I'm trying very hard absolutely every day and I need your support. Your likes, comments, repulse to social networks. Thanks for supporting me, guys. In a recent interview with the WBC heavyweight world champion Britain Tyson Fury, was asked why his compatriot Anthony Joshua refuses dangerous challenges, and in particular, a duel with him. According to Tyson Fury, despite several defeats in his career, Joshua is still afraid of losing. It is for this reason that AJ refuses to share the ring with him. Why does he want to fight Dylan White again? He's already beaten him. Let him fight with me. It's just a fight and besides, you've already lost. I can guarantee you that you will never see our confrontation. I'm 100% sure of that, Fury said. Recall that Fury and Joshua were negotiating about their fight in the fall of this year, but could not reach an agreement. As a result, on December 3rd, Tyson fought with British veteran Derek Chisora for the third time in his career, and Joshua never returned to the ring after two defeats in a row. The legendary Roy Jones Jr. doesn't hide that the British WBC champion Tyson Fury is now one of his favorites. The iconic boxer is delicted that Fury is good and not only in the ring. He's just an incredible guy. He has already beaten Derek Chisora twice. He had nothing to prove in the third fight with him, but he still decided to author Derek a fight to help financially. He did it simply for the reason that Chizora is his friend, and friends need to be helped. Isn't that an act? John said. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.